Welcome to Gray Overload. We are back here with the Framework 13 going through the setup here and hopefully going to get this all installed and set up. We'll see how this all goes here and uh, walk it through. I'm just going to do, I don't have a product key. I guess the gimbal did not correct itself after I did a little bit of work here. We'll install Pro. Um, that's what I have a key for. And We'll enter that key. I'm going to just advance this because it's a brand new drive. And now we are going through the paces, it's copying the Windows files over. I think that this is uh, all the right stuff. We'll see. Otherwise, I'll be recording this again. Uh, hopefully, I didn't get my USB drives, and I guess it's Windows 10 instead of Windows 11. We'll see how that all goes. Um, Yeah. Gimbal still trying to go all over. It's pretty quick, right? Um, copying off this USB, old USB drive. I think it's USB, let's see, 3.0. So it's been around uh, a while here. But... Um, Let's see, finishing up. Let's see as this goes through, hopefully we'll restart. Now, now what I'm doing here, this is just a full install based upon um, right off of using the media creation tool. I did not go through what Framework told us to do with the out-of-box experience. As you see, I don't have any network cards, so I am gonna hopefully go through and get this set up properly with that. Um, we shall see um, what it does here. I will probably stop and I got a command I can run. I did a YouTube video on for the out-of-box experience without a um, network card to start out with. But we'll see here, we're starting it's starting up and we'll see where we get to. This is why Microsoft should still just have local accounts available because if they're not willing to keep up to date on these network items, they should be throwing the uh, install to have to get around that, right? Why prevent somebody have to jump through hoops to get the install to work properly because, um, you know, <laughs> they're trying to get you to use their Microsoft account, but there's no possible way with the network cards that you support to actually get internet. Come on, Microsoft. Um, the, the, that, I think, Microsoft does need to fix here. Uh, it is getting ready. And let's see here. Hopefully it can just... Uh, man, this gimbal needs to be... I need to get a new gimbal at some point. Um, it's working, but uh, I have to constantly move it back. It doesn't lock the way it's supposed to. Let's see. Let's see. Come on. It's, it's booting. I can take this USB drive out now. We are. Hopefully, that's the right one. I should have checked that. Uh, we'll have to go through all of this. So, let's see here. Oh, that is Windows 11. There we go, and here we are. I will go through, and I'm going to stop this, make sure I have the right command, and we'll pick up right there. Okay, we are back here, hopefully. Um, did some more adjusting on this gimbal, but let's see. Nope, not working. Let's see, here we go. It's just, we click yes. We'll see, this is going to be the default thing, and we'll walk through this, see if they have anything here. Um, again, this is, this is, you know, just a horrible scenario, right? Now you can't do anything, right? Let's connect to your network. There's no network card, right? Um, great software, Microsoft. So let's do shift F10. We have this command prompt. So what I'm going to do on this command prompt is O O B E and then slash, um, bypass N R O.
uh, one second. Let's see, did I type that wrong? There we go. Don't put the space in there. O O B E slash bypass NRO. It'll force a reboot here. So let's see if that um, that will fix what we are doing here. Um, trying to keep this this stupid gimbal. If you have gimbal suggestions, let me know. Um, we are back here, and let's click. Yes, it doesn't pick up where you left off, of course. That would be, that would work. Um, I don't have internet connection there. Continue with limited setup. And then your name. I'm just going to go user. Don't care about the password. This account will be deleted once I get everything set up. So I'm just, you know, all this stuff there I usually turn off. Like I said, this account will be deleted, so me setting that up doesn't really matter too much. Um, here we go. It's doing high, getting things ready for you. Um, might take a few minutes. Wow, making the camera work for its uh, <laughs> work for itself here, but. There you go. That's another way around this. Here's the quick setup of Framework Laptop, the Ryzen, uh, Framework Laptop 13 Ryzen 5 7640 without going through and setting up on Rufus. This is just a normal, you know, create a media install and we're going from there. And uh, we're going to be in just using the OOBE slash bypass NRO. Uh, using shift F10 I'll put that in the description below so you guys can if you guys run across this you will be able to do that as well for, to set up Windows um, here hopefully I can fix this gimbal too but I do appreciate you guys uh, supporting gray overload helping this channel grow liking subscribing it does really help out the channel and I really do appreciate it so don't forget to hit the bell icon on your way out and until next time we are in Windows 10 or yeah, Windows 11, here we go, and uh, now I just got to set it up for my wife, and she'll be good to go. Thank you so much um, in there. Now, you can, there's a couple ways here before I go that you can install the drivers. Go download the drivers from Framework, put them on a USB drive, you get your wireless, and you're off to the races. I do have a network card, which I'm going to try to see if that works. So, um, those are two options that you have. If you don't have the network card, just throw it on the USB drive. You can even throw it on the same one you installed Windows, as long as you've got enough space, and you uh, can install those drivers, and you should be getting it your wireless. So with that, thank you so much for uh, liking, subscribing, supporting Gray Overload, helping this channel grow. I really do appreciate it, and until next time, God bless.